Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna to be reviewing the Vocal C10 Evo. This is the baby brother to the C10 Pro. It's a little bit lighter, a little bit whippier. Still has got that classic vocal egg-shaped head. 16 by 19 pattern, very open. This thing surprised me like none other racket that I've tried recently. This thing was awesome to play with, but it really, you gotta go in with an open mind because if you're thinking it's a C10 Pro, it does not play like it whatsoever. It's its own beast. I highly recommend you guys all give it a try. But uh, before we go into the review, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe, and let's go into the hitting. So Vocal is known for their very soft, arm-friendly rackets, uh, and the Vocal C10 Evo is uh, no exception to that. It's super soft, super flexible, very, very thin, 20 millimeter constant uh, beam. Uh, it, it plays like a dream from the baseline. It's, it's just as soft as can be, super arm friendly. My elbow really was liking me for that because I was trying out that uh, Dunlop CX200 the same day. So this is a reprieve from that racket. Um, but what I didn't expect was just how much uh, pop this thing had and how much the ball really rocketed off the frame. Now for the racket being so thin and uh, for the shape being like such an egg-like shape at the top and me knowing what I know about uh, vocal frames. I was really not expecting this racket to uh, be such a rocket launcher, but this thing was had so much spin. I mean, it was unbelievable. I mean, it was there uh, above the extreme tour, honestly, in terms of spin. It strung up with vocal cyclone. I'm not sure what tension, but uh, whatever they did with this setup was unbelievable. Ridiculous top spin. It, it just surprised me so much because you you never think that a thin beam like this uh, and, and, and such a weird, like not an open spaced head at the top would be able to create so much spin, but it absolutely does and it feels buttery smooth while doing it. Super weird thing, but it was awesome. Uh, volleys were unbelievable. Uh, of course, buttery smooth. Uh, what I noticed is this thing likes to be swung around quite a bit. So on the volleys, although you did have great feel, you had great touch, you could really uh, manipulate those uh, drop volleys and, and place uh, the ball really wherever you wanted with that kind of more traditional flexible feel. Uh, to punch your volleys required a little bit extra work. Um, so if you're a guy that's very handsy up at the net and likes to create uh, like short angles and be creative with the placement of the ball, play with spins, this racket's right up your alley. And uh, what I noticed also, like with the other spin rackets that I've played with, you know, people always are like, it's surprisingly good at the net. I don't think it should be a surprise anymore. I think uh, spin rackets are just supposed to be good at the net for some reason. And um, this is no exception. And, and I really would classify this as a spin frame with how much spin I was generating. Uh, even my hitting partner here was telling me like this is uh, a little bit difficult to return some of the balls because they were just coming heavy, really heavy. Um, overheads felt really good as well. Uh, it, it, it's I, I told him like because of how thin it is and the shape it is, uh, that it feels like I'm swinging around a badminton racket. It's It just flies through the air effortlessly, really, really effortlessly. Same on serves, it, it flies really clean, really quick through the air. Um, now the one thing I do want to mention on serves, as you can even see in this uh, couple of clips I did, I served a lot with this racket because I never really got comfortable with the placement of where I was serving. I was kind of a little bit erratic. Um, I think partially it was the day, like I wasn't serving maybe um, amazing. But at the same time, uh, I think the flexible nature of this beam was throwing me off just a little bit because I'm used to a very point and shoot direct type of feel where wherever I make contact, the ball will go. But this racket was kind of holding onto the ball just a bit longer, sort of dwelling in the strings a bit longer. And even though it wasn't like uh, immensely powerful on the serve, just the, how long it was holding was just throwing off my accuracy just a bit. But I know that's not the case for a lot of players. People really like the plushness of uh, flexible frames. And I don't think like my experience should scare you from this. If anything, I really want this to be like an encouraging thing to players uh, with people with arm pain because I did not have a single bit of arm pain playing with this thing. And, and really, I mean, on the slice serves and kick serves and feel shots and all the stuff where you use spin, this thing performed admirably. Um, I was even able to take some big rips at it from the baseline with like big forehands and flatten it out. It does the old C10 thing where it just lets you do it, right? A lot of control. But um, yeah, you, you just can't think of it like a C10 Pro. It's not. It's, it's a little bit of a dif different beast uh, and I appreciate the racket for that. 
Yeah, you can hear by the tone of my voice, I'm, I'm very kind of excited with this frame. Um, this thing just shocked me like none other. And I don't understand why it's not being talked about more. This thing is an absolute monster. I think we should be putting more vocals into the recreational players and professional players' hands because the thing performs unbelievably. I mean, it, it was more predictable than the head Oxetic Extreme tour that I played with. And maybe it's a little bit heavier, but you know, it, it is pretty head light and the spin that was produced was, was a little bit more than that. That racket and the power it had was pretty comparable I said maybe the extreme has a bit more pop but in terms of like arm friendly nature this thing takes the cake and it, it just whips through the air so well with that super thin beam yeah everything that vocal has done is awesome including, including like the little rubber butt cap here the vibration dampening and the feel was great like I, I was so shocked I was ready for the the you know racket to feel spongy rubbery and it never did it, it yeah of course you got to get used to that flexible feel where you make contact you feel the whole racket sort of shift backwards and all that but when you're used to that and when you get comfortable with that feel this thing is just a gem just a gem unbelievable i really need to recommend this racket to a few of my clients that i know that have arm pain because this thing is awesome uh and i think it's more usable than people give it out to be because it is a 310 uh, gram racket but it is very grip heavy it swings around much lighter than the weight plus look at this cosmetic here i mean that is just cool i mean the all black subtle like red pink orange type accents i don't know what you call that the c10 evo there on the side and the neon vocal up top with the neon i mean what a cool cool frame and what a thin thing i mean this thing kind of fits that cliche of like oh this is the modern classic right here i mean it truly is i mean how is it's so classic because of this thin beam and but it's so modern in the way it responds to shots it is just a weird weird frame and i think people should try it and you know we're going to more thick and thick and thick frames thicker for more power and everything but there's something to be said about the thin beam and how it reacts and uh, what vocal have done here have worked around the thinness of this beam and have made it a just an absolute race car of a racket it is cool as can be uh it's still on my list to switch um maybe not the high just because it's the feel is something interesting and I might I think I might be too deep uh, into the feel of my stiffer frames that this kind of uh, throws me off a bit but uh, if you're someone who likes that sort of feel that plushness that comfort this is it man this this racket is unbelievable and then I think in the future if when I ever stop playing competitively and I am coaching I'm grabbing one of these assuming they're still making them I hope vocal please keep making this thing this thing is awesome I'm grabbing one of this because it's gonna protect my arm and it, it's easy to swing I, I this thing is a joy. Coaches, try this out. Players, try this out. Recreational players, try this out. We need more people playing with vocal because this thing is a beast. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video.